Hello and welcome to Rosie's Knitting Shed. I'm Rosie and um, I've got a lot of stuff to tell you today. Well, I've got lots of finished objects and um, I went to Edinburgh Yarn Festival yesterday, which was fun. So um, I've got lots to speak about. So if you want to follow me on Instagram or Ravelry or anything like that, it'll be written down below and my Etsy shop as well. Um, yeah, so we'll go straight into finished objects because I've got three today. Three? Yeah, I think it's three. So my first finished object is my Kemp Town sweater by Erica Knight. And if you haven't noticed, I am wearing it. Yay! I love it. Um, I did the size medium on 5mm needles. Uh, and I did a few changes. So on the front panel, I didn't do the increases up the um, split hem on the ribbon. I just cast on the amount of stitches that you would have after the increasing. So, um, yeah. I'm really glad I did that because I quite like how floppy it is at the bottom. I'd rather have it floppy than really tight around my bum and show everyone how big my bum is. Yeah, so I quite like that. So then the next one change I did was the neck line. So you meant to do a higher rib neck, but I didn't want to do a higher rib neck because I wanted to wear some shirts underneath. Um, so yeah, so I only did a few rolls of the ribbon and I'm really glad I did because I quite like it with a shirt underneath. It just dresses it up slightly. Like if I didn't have this on, it would just look like like a cosy, lazy around the house sweater. But yeah, so I'm quite glad I did that. It just dresses it up a bit. Uh, yeah, I love it. And the wool is Wild Wool by Erica Knight as well. And it has, I think it's, is it 20% metal? Um, I think so, 20% metal or something like that. Um, yeah, so I think it's really cool. And it's just got little white, little fluffy bits in there. And on the sleeves. Yeah, I love it. And I did it slightly longer than usual. Than it says on the pattern, should I say. Because uh, I do like my bum being covered, so. Yeah, so I'm really glad I didn't do... The increasing up here and start off with um, less stitches because it just gives it more of a oversized sweater look. Yeah, I love it and I love the sleeves. I love the reverse stockinette. Sorry, I'm getting a cold. That's why I sound funny. Um, and I love the the fake seam thing up the arm. If you can see, I love it and I love how it follows on from your three needle inside out bind off yeah I love it so all, I did have a trouble with setting the sleeves in so it says on the pattern to cast off loosely and I don't do anything loosely but I should have done um, what's it called the super stretchy bind off can't remember whose it is got the name in front of it hasn't it I can't remember um, is it Julie no don't know uh, so yeah so I had trouble setting the sleeves in because I cast off so tightly I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't get it to fit the actual armhole of the main body but I blagged it and it actually looks okay so I feel like this you can might, might be able to tell here so yeah so when I was sewing it in I sort of had to like shoosh it up and crimp it up so you can sort of tell but it's under my arm so you can't really see a bit messy but the wool's got a little bit of a, like a halo to it so I've it does hide some imperfections. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, quite, I'm getting quite good at blagging things. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to blag things. I wish I could just do it. But, yeah, I suppose that's what knitting's about, isn't it? Blagging it. So, yeah. So, I really enjoyed doing it. I didn't enjoy sewing it up, though. didn't enjoy sewing it up. I think my next pattern is going to be in the round. <laughs> Um, some people have, ch I've seen on Ravel Ravelry, some people have changed it so they are knitting the round, um, but I'm not that clever, so I wasn't going to try it. Um, but also, as well, now, I don't know if, I'm, if I read the pattern wrong, but um, I was having a look on the forums on Ravelry, and um, for the sleeve, uh, people, what, so what it says was, it was make make one row. I'll make two rows, sorry. And then, after that, it says for the following eight rows, 
just knit, just do your pattern, and then do an increase row on the eighth row, on the eighth row. But people are saying it should have been on the ninth row. But it actually says, hold on, uh, it's a paid for pattern, so I can't go too in depth. But it says, so next row, increase row, make one, make two in that increase row. Then it says, increase as above on every following eighth row until how many stitches you have for your size. So to me, that means increase one, two, so you knit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm on the eighth row. You increase. Now, that's how I read the pattern. I'm, but other people are reading it that they're doing it on the ninth row, and I don't, I don't know why. I can't get my head around that at all because it says increase on every following eighth row. So I don't know. Increase as above on every following eighth row until, because, oh, I don't know. But I've done it now. Anyway, I ended up the right stitch count. I just cast it off too um, tightly. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I love it. And once it's done, you forget about all the mistakes, don't you, in a week? So, yeah. So, we will move on to my next finished object, which is my plum wine socks. Um, I did these for my mum for Mother's Day, because Mother's Day is next Sunday, I think, isn't it? I thought it was this Sunday, that's why I've, I've finished them. I wouldn't have finished them otherwise. Um, this is, the yarn is King Cole Zigzag, and it's lovely. Purple, greys, and all it is is vanilla sock. Um, I usually do mine on a 2.25mm needle, but um, because the yarn seems slightly thicker, I just did it on a, a 2.5 millimetre needle, um, just a vanilla sock, but I got I managed to get them matching. Oh no, how do we show that matching? I managed to get the pattern matching because my mum doesn't like odd socks, whereas I don't care. So, because <laughs> I am odd, so <laughs> I do like odd socks. Um, yeah. So they're perfectly matching, apart from, I think in the actual yarn, there's a bit of a um, a problem with it, because if you see, I mean, that purple part to that, to that purple part, it's got like more of this colouring, so I don't know what happened there, and up here as well, that's done it as well, it's really hard to <laughs> show you where it is on the camera, because I'm like, mm, it's like, I don't know how people are weather people, because I've been pointing everywhere. You have to get used to it, like, it's going to rain here, and it's going to snow here. I'd be pointing, like, I don't know, in, like, a really hot place like Africa, saying it's going to snow. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's just some simple vanilla socks for my mum, because she has, she's a, she's a knitter, but it takes her a whole year to knit a pair of socks. A whole year. I just don't get it. Um. So, but... So what has happened is all her socks that she's got, she's because it takes her so long to knit a new pair, she's got holes in them all. <laughs> so I thought I'd knit her some socks because she's got like two pairs left which haven't got holes in, and she doesn't she doesn't darn them or anything, she just spins them. So yeah, but I want to keep them, but no, I can't. I've got to give her them. Um, so my next finished object is my Tabra ladder sock. By who are they by? It's a name which I can't say, so I'll write it here somewhere. Um, Julie Giordano, <laughs> and they're lovely. I've already worn them. I've washed them and I've blocked them because it's um because it's like a a rib type look. It all crimps up. Yeah, uh, this is my yarn and it's quite similar to my daffodil fairy. Um, it's not as green, actually. The daffodil fairy is a bit, a bit more greener. I haven't got it there to show you. Um, yeah, it's lovely. I love uh, the broken rib at the back. Just gives it a bit more pajazz. And I love the fisherman's rib on the front. Yeah, lovely. So um, I did these on 2.25 with. 64 stitches and I changed the heel to my ordinary heel flap and gusset 
with um just a slip stitch heel yeah just slip stitch so yeah so some more socks to add to my collection of of hundreds of socks <laughs> that are all on rotation so my next thing is we're going to go on to works in progress um i've only got really one thing um because i haven't had a chance to think about what i want to cast on so um yeah so my next socks i am a sock i am a self-proclaimed sock knitter um, that's all I really knit, usually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so these are my next socks. I, I'm knitting them on DPNs up to now. I might change them over, but I feel like it'll change my gauge and it'll all be a bit weird. Uh, the reason why is I went to Edinburgh Yarn Festival yesterday. I got on the train and I have forgotten my circle of needles. Um, so I was gutted, but it make, it's a bit of a difference giving it on these, even though they kill my hands. But... Yeah, so this is West Yorkshire Spinners, and it is, oh, what is it, the, the Passion Fruit Cooler Cool Away. Cool Away? <laughs> cool Away. Cool Away. Yeah, uh, beautiful colours. I love self striping. Um, makes it fun, doesn't it, really? Um, yeah, and I'm about to do a heel flap and gusset. I might knit a little bit further. Um, just a vanilla sock. Easy peasy. Uh, I'm doing this on 2.5 as well, 2.5 needles, uh, yeah, I like them, but I'm not getting a ladder either, usually I get a bit of a ladder, but I'm not actually getting much of one, you can sort of see, can't you, but I'm not getting much of one, I'm on this side, oh, where am I, yeah, so I'm quite enjoying them, they're fun, um, so my next thing that I've been working on, I worked on it a little bit yesterday when I got home, uh, is my granny granny stripe blanket, but it's not striped, it's square. Uh, I'm doing it with all my leftover wool, uh, sock yarn and stuff. So this is my granny square. And I just added my Christmas sock yarn on from this last year. Lovely. I quite like as well how you've got, like with a granny stripe blanket, you see, you get like blocks of your colours. So if you've got like a tonal, it's a, it's quite a big block unless you change every row. But um, I can't be bothered changing every row because you still have the, I just like to crochet until that ball's gone. Yeah, and you've got no leftovers whatsoever. So yeah, so you can probably see if you have a good look which yarn's which. And where it stops. So I added a tiny bit onto that, but that's it really. And this is my uh, pot of sock yarn that I'm going to put in. Uh, so my next thing, uh, well, it's more like what I'm what I might cast on is um, I've done one before, but uh, a ver vertices unite shawl. I think it's vertices, or is it? I'll tell you now, wait there. Um, yeah, vertices unite shawl by Stephen West with all my leftover yarns um so from my jumpers and stuff oh dear dropped everything so one of the colors is from my vaffle john arben yarns in the pollen is it john arben or arden john arben john arben textiles um in the pollen gold and I did my vaffle in that, which I showed you last week. And then I've got Debbie Bliss yarn in the fine Donegal. Or Donegal, Donegal. So I've got some of that left over. And then I've got my fibre core Cumbria fingering uh, in the Castle Rig colourway. So I'm thinking about doing one of them just to get rid of all this yarn. Um, quite a good way to get rid of it all isn't it really um yeah so and then I just need to get like so some of my hand dyed for one of the blocks of colour uh, that you have yeah so that's what I'm thinking about casting on but I'm not sure yet so I'm just going to go on to my, some of the hand dyed yarns that are in my shop that I've done um so the first one is the poppy fairy and my niece is called poppy so 
just cute. Um, so there's reds, obviously, because it's puppy. Uh, reds, greens, blacks, uh, speckles of reds, greens, blacks. Um, yeah, and you make a lovely schnood, I think. It smells really nice. It's all the stuff that I soak it in. Yeah, so that is the Poppy Fairy, and that is on 100% BFL. Uh, my next one is the Violet Fairy, and again, this is on 100%, 100% BFL. I love BFL. It's so, like, bouncy, and it takes dye really well. But again, if you just have a look on my Etsy shop for, like, proper pictures, um, not that this isn't a proper video, but... It's just a bit sharp because I'm doing it. I don't have a proper camera yet. But, um, yeah, so it's just making it look a bit sharp. It's a bit more s subtle than this. So, yeah, so this is, did I say, the Violet Fairy. Um, and it is purple, greens, uh, speckles of, like, a plum colour, uh, speckles of green. Yeah, lovely. If I do say so myself. <laughs> um, my next one is the Daisy Fairy. And again, my other niece is called Daisy. So um, she loves it. But this, I've already done this before, but it's been on a different base. So it's just taken slightly different, differently. I don't know how well it's going to show up on this camera, actually. Um, it's very subtle uh, pastel colours. And this is on 100% baby alpaca. And it's really subtle. Might have to close the um the thing. Let's see. Oh that's better, slightly. Yeah, so if you have a look on my Etsy again, it is more like realistic um images of it. Oh <laughs> and I'm back. Yeah, so very subtle. So beautifully soft, um, yeah, it would be a, a lovely shawl, just so, so lovely, I just love it. Uh, I've got five skeins of this in the shop, uh, all together, so yeah, so just beautiful, I love it. And my next one is the Lavender Fairy, and this is on 70% mohair. 30% silk. I should know that considering it's just like you can't get 110% of it, can you? So it's gonna just be 100%. But I can't add up, so that's probably why. So yeah, so this is like a lavender colour and it's just gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's more of a tonal. It has got a few speckles of purple as well, like a, like a different colour purple. Uh, so it's just so tonal and squishy. Yeah, so that's in the shop if you want to have a look. Um, and that's all I've updated recently in the shop. Uh, my next thing that I'm going to do is show you all the yarn I got Woo, from Edinburgh yesterday. I went with uh, my nana, who doesn't knit. She's not a knitter, but she comes with anyway. Um, my mum and my auntie, Auntie Lynn. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> uh, we all went up to Edinburgh yesterday on the train. Um, it was really fun. Very busy. It was so busy. Uh, saw lots of podcasters, but um, didn't get a chance to say hi to any of them. I'm too shy. <laughs> well, you believe I'm shy. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's like weird because you see people on YouTube, and it's like you don't think that they're real until you see them, and then you're like, oh, well, they're not that tall because <laughs> they always look tall on on screen. So yeah, so it's all a bit it's a bit weird. And you always think that like they're in really far away in America or on the other side of the world. And um yeah, it's just it's just really odd. It's just odd for everyone to be in the same place. Uh yeah, I had such a good time. I tell you who is tall though, Stephen West, he's huge, isn't he? <laughs> a lot taller than me. I'm five foot on the dot, so he's he's a lot taller than me. Uh yeah, so I'll go through with uh my stuff that I bought. Um so, I got this one from the Stephen and these three, you should say, from the Stephen and Penelope stall. Um, and, hold on, let me get them right, like this. 
So one is the Afro. Right, bear with me. I, I might write it down for you in the corner. But it's through Val Borg, <laughs> I think. And um, what this one is the Fidelity colourway. This one, and it is you can't really see, but it's got a lot of yellow in it, pinks, orange, brownie colours, and it is on. They're all on. Um, they're all on. 80% super wash merino and 20% nylon. This one is the toxic colourway. And this has got yellows, greens, blacks, pinks, uh, a little bit of purple in there. I'm not even showing it. <laughs> and this one is like an in between of both of them. So this has got yellows and actually looks a bit more of like a grey colour really. Uh, greens, pinks. Oh, someone's ringing me. They all need to be together in one thing. So do it like a faded something. So I'll put that one in between. Yeah. So a shawl or something like that over top. Yeah, lovely. So that's three that I got from the same shop. Um, my next one is... I've got two things from Martin's Lab. I love Martin's Lab, I always get something when I see them. Um, so I got a oh, minis, yay! So blues, blue minis, and they've all got a bit of speckles in. Um, my idea was, because I've got another pack of minis up there, I might show you them actually, that are all like greens and blues, and I thought of making like a shawl or um, like a cowl, with all of them, like a striped cow. I'll just show you them actually. I don't even, I haven't even looked to see if they go together. But these are, I think these are 20 grams. It doesn't say what these are actually, does it? Oh yeah. Oh no. No, it doesn't say. It just says that that's 100 grams. But. They're quite similar colours, so the speckled ones can like go in between, can go in between the, the solids or the tonals. And this one's got like a green in it as well. Yeah, so that's another project I have in mind. Uh, my next one is again from Martin's Lab, and this is called Inferno, and it's greys and reds and a little bit of yellow. I love it. Can't wait to knit. Well, I was thinking socks, but I don't know whether it's too nice to put on my feet. But I do like socks. I do like knitting socks. So I was thinking maybe something to go around my neck with this. I'll get, try and find something to pair it up with. Um, and this is 100% superwash merino. And it's inferno. don't know if I said that. Yeah. So... They're two things I got from Martin's lab. What's the colourway for this one? It doesn't it just says number twenty seven? Yeah. So the next thing I bought is from Yushkita, and this is merino sock, seventy five percent superwash merino, twenty five percent nylon, and it just reminds me of being under the sea. I love it. And it's got like navies and light blue and aqua blue and green and pink. Yay, lovely. And my, the next thing I bought, okay, so actually my nana bought it. And because my nana doesn't knit, I'm going to knit it for her. So 
I did this like like a year ago now and it's like a little purse and I got it from uh, Natural Knits I think it's called and it's based in England somewhere and I think up, like up near me like northern part of England and they go to all the shows so it's, it's like a little kit and it comes with the button the button what is it is it a button something like that and uh, the clasp so it's holding my lipsticks at the minute <laughs> yeah and it's like a purpley colour and it only took me like two hours to make and knit so yeah so my nana wanted one so she's bought a pack and I'm going to knit it for her but don't know when I'll get round to it but it's got a different um, buttony badgy thing so on yeah so yeah it's lovely so I'm going to knit her one of them the next thing I got is right I absolutely love this it is so cute and it's by the travel knitter and um she nearly ran out by the time I got there I'd only just seen them by when I was about to leave so um I was so glad I saw them and um it's like a necklace with a tiny weeny mini skein oh so adorable and it tells you even what it is it's 50% baby camel 50% silk and it's made by Max Alexander and it gives you the um the website there look maxworld.co.uk yeah lovely oh yeah so the yarn is by Travel Knitter um but the actual necklace is made by Max Alexander yeah so I can't wait I didn't think it went with what I was wearing today it would hide it but I might put it on because I'm going out for dinner soon yeah so I think that's everything I think that's everything that I got I've got a few uh, patterns free patterns with stuff so a hat a shawl uh, and a colour work hat I've never done colour work but it's something that I want to try and do but I'm too scared I need to pluck up courage Um, yeah so I think that's everything uh, thank you again for watching uh, I know it's going to be a long one today isn't it sorry guys <laughs> but I've got lots to talk, talk about yeah so I am I'll be back in probably about a week or two weeks uh, again all my Instagram stuff and Ravelry and everything that is down there in Etsy shop um, and thanks for watching okay bye